Hello everyone. Once again, I welcome you all to my channel TechnoCube and you are in the series of Fundamental of Cybersecurity. We are discussing banner grabbing. Earlier we had seen the theoretical part that why it is important to have a banner and why it is an important uh, you know, entity uh, for an attacker. Uh, so in this session, we're gonna see that how practically we can grab a banner uh, of a target machine. So in this session, you see I have two machines. One is having Kali install and this is having an IP address of 192.168.117.130. Alright, and I have Ubuntu with me and having an IP address of 192.168.117.128. You see, the Ubuntu is my target machine and the Kali is an attacker machine. Right, so I have two machine attacker and target. You see, Ubuntu has different systems or different server I had installed. One I installed Apache for web. I also had installed Telnet server. I also had installed SSH. You see, three things I'm having in my Ubuntu. So I can perform a banner grabbing on all these uh, you know servers and grab information about my target. So let's let's start it. Uh, one more thing is what kind of tools I can use. You see, there are many tools you can use for uh, banner grabbing. I precisely do not know about the free and commercial one, but the tools that I'm going to use is command line tools. Uh, first tool is going to be curl. A uh, second tool you're going to use could be uh, netkit. Uh, third command is going to be uh, maybe you can use Dimitri. Uh, uh, then there might be a possibility that you can use a w get then you can definitely use telnet where exactly my oh i'm so sorry yeah so you can use telnet here uh so how many five i am having uh another yeah the most important one is the nmap so you can also grab the information or the banner from nmap so these are the tools that you can use to grab a banner all right so let's use these tools in my kali machine and let's uh, try to uh, you know gather the information all right so i'm on the terminal of kali so i'm going to use the curl command you see the curl command is specifically used to uh, fetch the html content of any website you can download anything from the html uh, or the, from the website not in the user interface but in the command line itself okay so it is a very good and uh, fast tool um, to uh, you know surf the surf any website so i'm going to use some options with curl first option is going to be dash s and then uh, dash capital i and the ip address of my ubuntu machine is 192.168.117.128 okay and you can see uh, just like that when i do that it had given me http 1.1200 okay and why is that so is because uh, this ubuntu it is directly finding any web server is installed or not so with that curl command as i told you that curl command is specifically for a website that means web right so you see it had gathered some information and one important information is this server information you see here just uh, you know grab the server which is installed in Ubuntu which is Apache 2.4.18 okay so this is the version of Apache I have installed in Ubuntu in I mean in the target system now I can use this version number go to the exploit DB find any vulnerability I will exploit that vulnerability enter into the system of Ubuntu 64 and boom there we go we had uh, you know successfully access the system or escalate the uh, you know uh, privileges of Ubuntu machine so this is one tool, uh, sorry, one command line of uh, banner grabbing, the curl, curl command. I hope you understand it. The next thing, the next, uh, you know, tool you can use is basically, uh, let's say I'm going to use nc netkit command. Well, netkit command is a very simple command. You just have to write nc and then the target IP address 192.168.117.128. Once I do that, Oh, yeah, there is no port, so I have not given any port. So let me give the AT port and let's see what happens. So it is will take some time, maybe. Um, no problem, I'm not gonna waste it. So I'm just write NC uh, instead of AT. I already have a 
SSH uh, service running on Ubuntu. So let me write the SSH port number. The port number is 22. So I'm going to write 22 and hit enter. You see, it just had grabbed the version of Open SSH which is installed on Ubuntu, and it is said it is 7.2 with SSH 2.0. Now this information is also a valuable information for me and later in this session we're gonna see that the result that I'm getting with the netcat command is the is the is the true result or not okay we can verify it if you get the same version uh, multiple times with different tools you will see that yeah uh, open SSH has been installed in Ubuntu with this version right so netcat netcat command is, is is gonna work like this so you had seen this so let me go for let me see another netcat like for 8080 can i grab anything like this yeah, so connection has been refused uh, but no problem okay after the netcat i have another command as wget you see wget is meant uh, it is not very similar to that of curl but it is used to uh, what you can say you can you can download anything from wget okay if you want to save anything if you want to download anything you can use wget command for web again it is for web so i'm going to use the options like a q and capital s so q and capital s is to show the uh, result into this terminal only i'm going to hit the uh, ip address of my machine target machine so and when i hit enter you will see that again the information is same and with the apache 2.4.18 which you had uh, you know get from the curl command now you can verify that yeah the apache has been installed on in ubuntu with a version of 2.4.18 it is an it is an verified information now you see again you are getting the same version with the uh, same server right so uh, it has been verified here so again you are getting some banner here and which is a useful thing for uh, for a, for an attacker right so this is the third command you had seen the next command you can uh, have on maybe telnet you see with the help of telnet what basically telnet does well telnet is uh, used to if uh, let's say um, let me give you an example on telnet uh, no problem telnet is basically to connect to your remote computers if you are sitting at a location and your servers are not with you it is remotely located then with the help of telnet you can access those servers right or access those computers so telnet is used for that so let me write just so if if if, if i'm uh, the machine and second machine is this ubuntu which is uh, you know ubuntu is sitting somewhere uh, in the geographic area if i want to access it how can i access the ubuntu machine from the kali machine which is very simple you just have to uh, install a telnet server here inside the ubuntu once you install that uh, you know you just can access so if i write here uh, telnet uh, 192.168.117.128 if i do that it will give me the it will give me the prompt of uh, ubuntu and will asking it is asking me the username so let's say the username is this the password is this and here we go you are entered into the uh, ubuntu machine you see the same uh, terminal you are getting all right so i can use it so if you write here you name a dash then you will see that it is uh, nothing it is not kali it is ubuntu now you see all right so i hope uh, it is uh, there is an information so with the help of telnet now you can you know grab uh, the banner also so let's say telnet um, then 192.168.117. Uh, 128 and if i need to give some port number so let's say 80 if i give that oh so it is not again connecting no problem i can I just uh, i can use the another port here let's say 22 uh, you see it gives me the information about ssh 2.0 which you earlier had get uh, from netkit command right so you can verify now that that open ssh ssh is installed on ubuntu with a version 7.2 right so you again you are verifying it so this is good right now you can use another command such as nmap now nmap for nmap you can use dash s and v v for version right so nmap dash s for scan for v for uh, uh, this what you can say version and then the port numbers you have to give so let's say port is 80 and the ip it is if i hit enter it will take some one or two seconds and then uh, it will give you the information about port 80 about the port state and its service so you see it, it is saying me that port 80 
is a TCP port and the state is open and having a service having a version of a web server Apache 2.4.18 you are again you know you are again verifying it that it is there or not it is there and it is open so it is a good information uh, that attacker had grabbed you can do the same thing for port uh, 22 you will get the state of that SSH you see the port is open for SSH and having the same 7.2 version so this is good right I hope you understand so nmap can be also used for banner grabbing well it is used for many reasons but one of the reason is this banner grabbing the another command that you can use is a Dimitri Dimitri tool well a Dimitri is generally used to have a, a you know simply to grab information about web but I can do the same for a target machine because I installed one a web server now you do you see again uh, Dimitri had given me the scan and uh, it scanned the 128 and given me the two ports 22 and then there is 80 for both are open actually three are open but this TCP this 23 TCP uh, it is not showing me uh, but this is open SSH 7.2 and uh, this is uh, this information is not here for TCP but it is again open right so you see uh, with the Dimitri also you can uh, grab the uh, information it's an information gathering tool so this is how you can grab a banner I hope you understand it if you understand it and if you like this video then please that please hit that like button you can share my video if you like it uh, if you have any doubt you can write comment in the comment section I would be happy to help you and thank you so much guys uh, for subscribing my channel and if you are new to my channel then please subscribe it Thank you so much for the help and thank you so much for listening. Okay, thank you so much. We'll see you in the next session.